Now, before we get to the number one spot on this list, let's take the time to recognize some honorable mentions that just missed out this list. Now, the number one discontinued Amtrak train name. The Metroliner Service. For over 35 years, the Metroliner name was synonymous with Amtrak and the development of high-speed rail on the Northeast Corridor. Plus, the story in itself is unique in its own right. The High-Speed Ground Transportation Act of 1965 was passed in that year to attempt to build high-speed rail in America. It would take hold in the Northeast, with the U.S. Department of Transportation working in conjunction with the Pennsylvania Railroad, the Bud Company, General Electric, and Westinghouse to develop an electric multiple-unit train to be used for service. The first Metroliner service began on January 16, 1969 which by then the PRR had merged with the New York Central to become Penn Central. The Bud Metroliner EMUs ran at the time one daily train from New York to Washington. Additional service was later added. For the first few years of operation, the Bud Metroliners could reach 120 miles per hour, but problems with their motors would limit their speed to around 100 miles per hour. Plus Amtrak, after taking the service over in 1971, would move some electrical components from the bottom of the cars into the roof hump due to snow getting caught under in the winter. Through the 1970s, however, the Bud Metroliners were getting unreliable and Amtrak was looking for a replacement. It first started with also replacing the GG1s, which were past their prime and in their 40s in terms of age. The first attempt for a high-speed replacement came in the form of the General Electric E60 locomotive in 1974. They were expected to be run at 120 miles per hour, but after derailments in the latter part of their testing, they were deemed to be inadequate for high-speed service. So then between 1976 and 77, Amtrak brought over two foreign electric locomotives, a French CC21000 and a Swedish RC4 locomotive to pull new Amfleet coaches that were introduced in 1975. And in the end, the RC4 was the locomotive chosen to base a design. Starting in 1978, EMD began producing the AEM7 locomotives in several batches until 1988. They became a common sight with six-car Amfleet Metroliner services sprinting between New York City and Washington, D.C when all the original Metroliner MU equipment was withdrawn in 1982. Also during that time, stretching from the late 70s into the early 80s, infrastructure refurbishment on the Northeast Quarter would result in faster travel time of just under three hours. Express Metroliner service arrived in the early 80s that only made stops at Baltimore and Philadelphia, or just one. Many more Express Metroliner including non-stop Metroliners, would provide a two-hour and either 30 to 40 minute ride from origin to destination. In the early 1990s, Amtrak also experimented with foreign high-speed train sets and Metroliner schedules as they tested the German Intercity Express, or ICE train, 
and the Swedish X2000 train set in 1993. As the new millennium approached, Amtrak had announced the arrival of the new high-speed train sets, which would be known as the Excel Express, which would provide high-speed service from Washington to Boston upon the completion of electrification east of New Haven by the end of the century. The Acela went to service on December 11, 2000, and starting in 2001, Metroliner frequencies started to be replaced by the Acela Express. By April 2002, only four weekday round trips were left on the timetable. Until that August, when the Acela Express train sets were pulled out of service due to cracks in the yard damper bracket, which put full Metroliner service back between New York and Washington although it only lasted two months, as the Acellas returned in October of 2002. Two years later, only two round trips of the Metroliner were still running. Then came one final hurrah for the Metroliners. On April 15, 2005, Acela Express train sets were once again sidelined, owing this time to cracks in the brake rotors. Ten days later, which was supposed to be the final day of Metroliner service, they were being used in place on Acela Express schedules full-time through six months. Four of those trains would run up to Boston. On Halloween 2005, the Acela Express trains returned and it left only one round trip of the Metro Trains 2300 eastbound and 2301 westbound. October 27, 2006 would become a pivotal day on the Northeast Corridor when 2301 arrived at Washington one final time to mark the end of the Metroliner service. This name is very simple, but what the service accomplished is truly worthy of recognition in how it was treated and raised to be a brand of travel between New York and Washington and also beat airline travel at their own game in that stretch. All that the Metroliner has been through over its 35-year career is the reason why it deserves the number one spot on this countdown of discontinued Amtrak train names. Well that's all for this list, but if you like this video, be sure to leave a comment and a rating. And be sure to look forward to new content coming soon on the newly rebranded MBX Pictures channel. So until then, good night, good luck, and keep those trains running through.